Spotlight on those who served. Brought to you by your local carrier dealers. He served his country in Vietnam and is now spending his retirement driving children to and from school. In tonight's Spotlight on those who served, we meet a man who is loving his new mission. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I, I spent uh, three years active. He served his country in Vietnam. I was initially a combat engineer attached to some infantry units. And now in retirement, he is serving the children of his community. Kids safety is the number one priority at Parkway. Bill Goodbread joined the Marines right after college. I wanted to serve my country, and at that point in 1967, I felt that it was better to, uh, not to sound political, battle communism over there than over here. And so, and I felt if I was going to join, I wanted to join the best, and uh, frankly, I feel the Marine Corps is the best. After graduating college, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant and went overseas to serve in Vietnam for a 13-month tour. We would create LZs. They'd drop a team into uh, a top of a mountain, we'd blow trees, drop in a bulldozer, clear off a, land, a uh, uh, LZ uh, for a uh, fire support base uh, artillery. Uh, we did road sweeps for mines. I guess they call them IEDs now, but we look for mines and booby traps. Towards the end of his tour, he helped go into villages and work with American doctors to provide medical care to the people of Vietnam. And I think it certainly made you appreciate uh, what you left back home. They live a certainly different population, a different lifestyle than we do, but they seemed very happy for our uh, interdiction, if you will. They were happy to have their kids taken care of. After his tour was over, Bill stayed in the reserves for nine more years, at one point serving in a civic affairs post in Washington, D.C. There we developed uh, strategies and protocols that I'm sure probably are used today in Desert Storm and in Iraq and Afghanistan in dealing with the people. So we wrote the protocols and the, um, and the strategies for dealing with the people on a regular basis, if you will. After retiring back here in St. Louis looking for something to do, a friend made a suggestion. A friend said, why don't you go for work for Parkway as a bus driver? And I said, really? That was 13 years ago. I've been with Parkway now for 13 years. Bill credits his military training for influencing how he runs his bus. It's been fun. It took some, it took some training, and uh, but I think I grew. I, I, I'd be a liar if I didn't say that the things I learned in the military, I run a fairly tight bus, as you might imagine. Each school day, he ran a route for a high school, middle school, and an elementary. I greet each and every kid, I know all the kids' names, and I greet each and every kid by their name, and I, I know for a fact they appreciate that because I have seen some of them in restaurants uh, before the virus, and I'd seen them in restaurants, and they would say, oh, it's Mr. Bill, and I'd say, oh, it's Mary, and, and, and they would say to my wife, uh, he always knew our names. Bill's efforts have not gone unnoticed by parents as he was recently honored with the Light of Parkway Award. I was very surprised and I, I, was, I was flattered and uh, uh, honored and humbled by uh, being recognized, I guess. I've uh, uh, always liked to stay in the background, if you will, but uh, it was a very wonderful write-up that was done and I really appreciate it. And after 13 years behind the wheel, he has no plans of leaving his troops anytime soon. As an officer in the Marine Corps, you take care of your men. And uh, that's the number one priority of the, well, the number one priority is to accomplish the mission, but secondary to that is taking care of your men. And I guess I kind of view my responsibility here. Uh, I take the bus safety very, 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 very uh, seriously. 